friends, it's Tom Realist. Welcome back to another uh, episode of Wild Season. I almost thought I didn't have a dog for a second because I was standing over it. And yes, I did buy a doggy yesterday. And um, it doesn't show up in my animal profile, so I'm not really sure if it matters how much it loves me. But I'm going to give it a snuggle every day um, just because I can. So let's check the calendar for summer 25. It is nothing today. There's nothing today. So I'm going to take my doggy outside. I don't know if that makes it happier or not, but I'm going to do it. Um, I guess kind of because it doesn't matter. <laughs> Maybe if it loves- I'm gonna check my animal profile just in case. I was gonna say like, maybe it doesn't matter because, um, yeah, I don't see it in my animals tab. I don't see my dog anywhere actually, so I don't know if it matters. And actually, one second as I write down the amount of money I have now, which is four, six, nine, six, and actually, really quick, let me check my, um, shipping bin. Yeah, it looks like everything was taken, so I'm gonna have to see, I'm gonna have to calculate it out from the items I put in last last time because I want to find out the price of a comet, the comet fish that I put in. And this time, we are gonna put in two surgeon fish so that we can also find out how much um, a surgeon fish ships for as well. And I think I'm probably just gonna put in cucumbers because I know the unit price for that, and of course I have a lot of cucumbers to harvest as per usual. And um, this always happens when I try and water a tree. I mean, I'll come back and water the trees. But let me go get my chicken's egg. Thank you. Pick you up, put you down, and give you a snuggle. Oh. Okay, there you go. <laughs> and put down some chicken feed. There you go. Cool. And let me go refill my watering can. And try and water the tree again. There you go. That worked out. Did, did that water? Yeah, it turned dark. Just a, just a little sliver I can see turned dark, so that's, that's fine. I almost thought my sheep disappeared. I'm gonna press J and K, even though I don't think they do anything. With my cow a brush. See, like, the problem is, is because you don't get a reaction when you press J or K. Well, you can for, um, when you snuggle chicken, but, like, for talking to it, I don't even know if that gives you anything because you don't see, like, a little heart indicator or something to show that, like, your animal acknowledges your affection. <laughs> so, that's that. And actually, I'm gonna have to do a lot, of, a lot of watering as per usual, but I was just thinking, now that it's near the end of the season, I'm going to have to make sure that I chop down my plants, my cucumbers, like, as soon as I can, because that's going to be a really big ordeal um, in terms of stamina, and I guess that might help with me spacing out my crops again, um, kind of like what I did this time. Like, if I do maybe half of my, if I chop down half of my field um, on the first day and then, and then make sure I plant everything that I can there, and then I'm going to be out of stamina, of course, because scything uses a lot of stamina, and I'm planning to maybe do like a second wave like on day two and plant everything on day two as well so then hopefully that will stagger my harvesting time um, so it kind of ends up like it happened for this cucumber season which I planned and I'm glad I did that because I would definitely not be able to harvest everything on my entire farm in time if I had this many plants um, both in terms of stamina as well as simple amount of time and for next time as well whenever the next uh, episode comes out because Episode 1, which I'm playing right now for Wild Season, it only lasts until the end of summer, so we're actually getting really close to the end of this run, at least until Episode 2 comes out. But in fall, I'm definitely not going to be um, utilize, utilizing this much crop space, unless I can immediately upgrade my scythe to be, and also my watering can. That's, I would like to up upgrade my watering can, but it's honestly the scythe that means a lot more when I start harvesting. Um, it means a lot more when I have that upgraded compared to the watering can. The watering can I can deal with, it's annoying, but like, you know, I can water all these plants. I can do that. It's just for scything, it's just so much more work. But um, I think I'm probably not going to use maybe like a third of my field that I have cleared out right now. It feels like a waste because like I have this land available for putting plants in, but like I want to go mining and stuff. I want to do other things. And my daylilies still haven't bloomed unless this is their full bloom like look. Uh, I'm, I kind of don't want to like sight them just like for the sake of seeing if they're done or not. I mean, if it's a daylily, I feel like it should look like a flower that was in Lily's flower shop, right? Like that was a daylily. I'm pretty sure that was like a big red flower, unless I'm totally remembering incorrectly. We'll have to see if Lily's in and then we can check with the daylilies she has in stock. But in any case, I've been rambling and I still have a lot of watering to do, so I'll cut back to when I'm done with that, okay? Okay, I finished watering, and like I said, I'm probably going to get rid of this section here for next season so I don't have as many plants to water and harvest and take care of. Um, it's definitely going to reduce my the load on my stamina, for sure. And now that it's 12 o'clock and I'm finished watering, I'm going to take a quick break. Actually, I'm going to save first. Um, I am going to take a quick break to check Lily's shop, um, just so I can see what the day Lily looks like. 
because I'm pretty sure she's selling that in her shop right now, along with the daylily seeds. So, I mean, I don't know when to, har like, I don't know how long it takes for a daylily to grow, but like, I'm winding down to the end of summer, so, you know, <laughs> things have to start finishing up soon. And I don't think I'm gonna, um, buy a milking tool or, yeah, I guess the clippers too. I mean, I think it'll be more obvious when I can clip my sheep, because I hope they will show me that it's gaining wool or whatever. Um, so, I, I don't think I'm that concerned about my sheep giving me wool yet, but, um, I think my cow has like a little bit to go until I probably need to worry about a milking tool. I'm basing this on when my chicken started giving an egg, which like was around here in infection. Like there was a good amount in infection. I don't exactly remember when it started giving me eggs, but it was six days old and um, I was able to snuggle it as well and pick it up, which I don't know if I can do that with a cow. I think the infection might only be going up because I'm brushing it and feeding it. So um, I think that's going to progress more slowly and I'm just not even going to like worry about the milking tool this season because I think it's just still glitched out right now. And I don't know why this is brown and those are purple. That's just very curious to me. So I'm going to keep searching for Randy. I'm guessing that Randy's going to give Will some chocolate because it says like sweets or something. I don't know where Randy is, you guys. I don't He's usually in the square or in the mayor's office, so I don't know where he's gone. It's a cute doggy. I don't care because I have my own cute doggy now. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to check Lily Shop and then also the general store again, you know, just in case. Because I want to be able to buy that cookbook if I can. Um, I know I'm getting a little bit low on money, but I think I'll make it back. Okay, okay, great. Lily is in. So let me buy. Yeah, the day Lily is like bright orange, so I don't think mine has bloomed yet. Let's check the general store anyway, because I think I get, like, um, how much, did, how much money did I have yesterday? I had 3,796, so I got, like, a thousand overnight for my cucumbers and the common, I guess. Uh, I guess no one is at the counter today. Uh, it's supposed to be open on Fridays. I'm just gonna, maybe someone will come help me when I randomly press the button. No, okay, it's not, like, Stephen's store where I can, like, get away with, um, asking him to sell me stuff when he's not actually at the counter. I think we're, we're going back into the forest with Darius on either Saturday or Sunday. It's going to be soon. Um, I have six feed left. That's enough for four days. I need to buy more feed. I'm not sure I have six. Okay, so I need to buy four. Man! I mean, obviously when you have two animals, your, your feed goes down twice as quick, but it's surprising to me nonetheless. here and start harvesting again. Yeah, so I'm just gonna go pick up my feed from my barn and then also harvest all my cucumbers that I have. So I'll see you guys after that is done, okay? Okay guys, I finished harvesting again and it wasn't a fluke. I also didn't have to eat any cucumbers today and I still have leftover stamina, so something go is going on with my stamina. And like yesterday, I was a little bit too slow and Frank came in the middle of my harvesting, so my numbers might be a little bit messed up. Um, I'll just have to see what my money is tomorrow and kind of use my best judgment from there. But he, Frank took away 10 cucumbers as well as 3 comets. And then in my um, bin right now, which I think he might still take away tomorrow, maybe not, is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 88 cucumbers. So if he took all of them, um, by the end of the day, it would be 88 cucumbers. Or 98 cucumbers with the 10 he took away. Otherwise, it's 88 for tomorrow. It's kind of fussy, but... um. I have a little bit of stamina left, so I am going to go fishing in the river. Or in the pond, maybe? I think there's a pond down there. I don't know if it matters, but I am going to do a little bit of fishing. I think it's on someone's farm? Maybe? I forget exactly. No, it wouldn't be up here. There's no room for a pond here. I feel like I've seen a pond before. Somewhere. It's not over here if that's what I was thinking before. Nope, nothing down here. Winery. Maybe it's like kind of near the Hulse Farm? <laughs> Just fishing illegally on their property. Nope, it's, it's a river. It looks like they have a barn, so maybe they have animals as well. And they have a nice chicken coop. No, I'm not going to bother. Maybe it's on the way to the mountain or something. I don't know. I think, I just, I feel like I remember seeing it somewhere. Anyway, let me press six. So I can start fishing right in front of the whole farm. 
I'm gonna use my worm. Yes. Hey, it's a mackerel. If I can catch three mackerel, I'll keep them for Diego's quest, assuming that I can even do Diego's quest. And then I need to somehow catch a trout, which I think is one of the more difficult fish to catch. What's this? It's so shiny. It's like red and green. An arowana. What a fancy looking fish. Yes. What's this? Is it a mackerel? Yeah, it's a mackerel. Okay, I need one more mackerel and then a magically a trout. So if I can magically get it with the two remaining baits I have left, that would be amazing. I don't know if that'll happen though. Ah, that one's so fast. Okay, I missed my chance for a perfect quest finish. Gonna have to buy bait if I want to do Diego's quest. Assuming that I even can. Hey, well I got my three mackerel. Yeah, I got my three mackerel. It just didn't stack for some reason. So I'll keep those um, for the time being. Let me press six so I don't accidentally use that and pass out. Um, if I can get a trout sometime, um, then I would be able to finish Diego's quest. I don't think I'm supposed to know in advance which fish Diego wants, but like the quest description seemed a little funny. So <laughs> I guess that ends well for me. But um, yeah, I'm just going to go to bed now and start the next day. And ah, my dog! <laughs> It looks like he was waiting for me. Okay, I'm gonna take it inside. Put my dog down. And I don't know if there's a purpose to having a dog, but it's nice, so, okay. Uh, let me put that away so it stacks with my other fish. I'm like starting to get a buildup in inventory because I want to see what the individual fish are like. Oh, Arowana, Arowana go to school, said the fisherman's son. Ah, what a joke. The fisherman's son really wants to go to school. And the mackerel is a fish known for its large number of fins. Oh, we've caught a mackerel before. I remember this description. Okay. So I just want to keep that in my inventory in the case that the fridge somehow glitches out. That would be sad because I have quite a bit of produce in there. But I don't think we were supposed to be able to access the freezer because um, there were all these lock signs over all these spaces before. But someone told me that you can just throw something in there and then, like, all the locks disappear. And that's what happened for me. So I guess we'll have to see if something terrible happens. But anyway, let me just uh, save and sleep. And let's use this file down here. Ah! Yes! It's what I want! I'm sorry. Yes. Okay. Alrighty! It is summer 26. The game is frozen because my screen is saving. You received a text message from Darius. Haven't heard from him in a while. Hey Maribel, just reminding you that it's been a week since our encounter with a crazy samurai. Let's meet up tonight by the forest entrance around the same time. Maybe our luck will be better tonight. See you then. Okay, so it is tonight. Another Saturday, another venture into the forest. You should go ahead and meet Darius at the forest entrance tonight at around 8 p.m. Let's give him something to livestock about. Livestock about. <laughs> okay, so Saturday, um, nothing going on today, but I'm not going to take a break in the middle of uh, watering and harvesting today because I want to make sure that I get everything done before 8 p.m. Um, usually I'm able to, but I just want to make sure. Put my dog down, give it a snuggle. And, okay, so I have 492, 4912. Which makes me think it only is counting the 10 cucumbers that I put in because that's only a gain of 300. And my cucumbers are definitely worth more than that. <laughs> yeah, all my cucumbers are still in here. So it was only 10 cucumbers plus the two surgeon fish. And that is 4912. I'm gonna note that down. And then I'm going to put in my arowana. And I'm running out of paper to take notes on. I have 4912, one arowana. And what was it? And then I'm sure I'm going to put in more from today, too, so I'll amend that statement uh, with a cucumber I can put in. Okay. So, yay! Coco and a pear? Bless you, pear tree. I feel like you're the incarnation of the previous pear tree I had. You're very kind to me. Yes. I think that I just shouldn't try and water my tree in the first thing in the morning. I think that's what's causing a problem whenever I use my watering tool. Um, I'm going to put the cocoa in the pear. Oh, actually, let me grab my chicken's egg first, assuming you'll give me an egg. Uh, yes, it did! Thank you, chicken! You are a wonderful animal. Give you a snuggle. Put down some chicken feed. Might have to buy some soon, because I only have five left. Yeah. I'm not going to use the incubator, because I saw in the Steam form that it was broken for somebody. They put an egg in, and then it disappeared after three days. And also, I'm guessing that if this is going to reflect real life, you need a rooster before you can have, like, an egg give you something. It needs to be fertilized before it can hatch a chick. So I'm just not going to use my eggs in there because, um, I guess I'm just hoarding them right now? <laughs> it's because I don't want to take up space with an egg. 
when I could be putting cucumbers in because uh, the arowana takes up one slot there. Hey! Just in case, just in case, and then give it a brush. And I'm gonna give you a brush. And then press J and K, perhaps hopelessly. And then Let me check my animal profile real quick. Uh, yeah, I mean, my sheep's health doesn't seem to be decreasing, so it must be getting fed enough. I don't know if I'm overfeeding, perhaps, or putting down two, but I just want to be safe because it looks like you're supposed to give each animal a slot. Okay, so as per usual, I'm going to harvest and water, and I'll cut to when I'm done with that. Harvesting, and I ended up filling up my entire box, my entire shipping box, with cucumbers. So that was um, 8 plus 7, that's 15. So 150 cucumbers plus one arowana. So I'm really excited to see what kind of cash I'm going to bring in tomorrow. And I have a lot of cucumbers left in my inventory that I couldn't fit um, in my shipping box. And I don't want to put it in right now just in case I complicate things. I don't think it'll count towards my total, but I just want to be sure. And um, I finished at about 5, which is too late to check the shops because I kind of wanted to buy more chicken feed. But, um, other than that, we're just going to skip to when it's 8 o'clock with Darius because I don't really feel like doing anything else in the meantime. Um, yes, let's wait until that. You spend some time watching TV before Darius and you are supposed to meet. The TV that doesn't actually work yet. <laughs> so this is like Denise of the Firefly Festival. At 8 p.m., you're not allowed to save um, during this. You can only um, go to bed and then like wait until the time that you're supposed to be meeting someone. Hey, Sky is out creeping on us. Oh, Maribel, there you are. Don't worry, wasn't waiting for too long. All right, so expedition into the creepy forest, take two. Second time around's always better than the first, right? Well, it better be, anyway. Oh, hey, real quick. Whoa, you received an egg? Uh, that crazy guy mentioned he hated eggs, right? If I figured, what the hell, he swings some stick at us, we throw some eggs at him. What's the worst that can happen? Okay, so it's good that I have some space in the inventory. Other than, you know, him actually hurting us. Darius, I don't know how well thought out this was. All right, let's do this, take two. Sky is our witness. She saw us going into the forest. Okay, so we're transported back into the forest. What's all these mushrooms? I don't know if there's anything to do in the forest other than keep going. What is this? I guess it's just some shadow. I thought there was something there. I don't know. Um, hey Darius. Second time in and I still have no idea where we're going. Why do I get the feeling that it wouldn't be all that much easier during the day? We don't hear singing yet. I thought we heard singing over, over there last time. Ooh, okay. Whoa, Darius just cut through the trees. Ah, this is someone different. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Someone with blonde hair. You gotta be kidding. Again? Whoa, they have a bow. Holy shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, let's just calm down and... Do you know how dangerous it is to water around in this forest at night? Starting to, yes. Damn it. Sorry, sorry. What's happening cannot be interrupted. Leave. Okay, okay, look, we don't want any trouble, okay? Obviously you don't want us to move, so we're gonna do what you say, okay? But please, before we go, I'd love to give you a few compliments if that's okay. First off, really appreciate that you can form full sentences. I know, common skill, but you'd be surprised by the uh, lack of communication we had the last time we were here. Last time? Some guy, samurai, didn't like eggs. Miles? Oh, this person has a name. Miles? Is that his name? Miles? And see, right there, you just did that second thing on my list. Since you, uh, um, threatened to harm us, you've answered some, th some things we didn't even have questions for until you answered them. <laughs> How convenient, right? That we've already, that we're already working together so well. <laughs> so what were we thinking, what we were thinking is maybe if you could answer some basic who, what, and why questions, maybe we won't even ever have to see the other side of your bow again, and you won't have to see us again. <laughs> Sound good? You should not be here. Yes, yes, you said. If you continue on the way you have, you'll be killed. What? Dr. Jansen, you were hired for the fact that all your references criticized your introverted personality and your inability to make interpersonal relationships. Whoa! Shots fired! As well as your tunnel vision when it comes to a task. What? They should have realized, though, that no matter what a doctor says about wanting a little peace, that you would latch onto the first thing that you even thought might be dangerous. He's certainly getting tunnel vision about Dr. Hayes, so I guess they didn't predict that he would do that. Um, and you. You shouldn't be here at all. Sorry for taking the farm that no one wants me to have. Alright, so you know all about us. So what? We're here for answers, and damn it, we're going to get some. 
And I'm going to save your lives by not allowing you to get to them. At least not right now. Listen, I've been watching the both of you since you guys decided to play detective together. And honestly, the two of you should stick to your day jobs. If anyone finds out that you've been in the forest, you'll be dead. If you find out what's happening in the forest before it's time for you two, you'll be dead. So you just expect us to forget everything and pretend none of this ever happened? But this guy's making it sound like we're going to have a chance to figure out what's going on. No, what I'm saying is that if the same situation occurs this year that happened last year, you're going to find your answers without putting your lives in danger. Wait, same situation happening this year that happened last year? What happened last? Oh no, the camera's panning. What the? Mara, let's go. Oh, the bow's back up. That's what it was. Who in town has blonde hair? Mary has blonde hair. But that seemed too articulate to be Mary. Okay, so the first time this happened, I took a hit to my pride, sure, but I was able to chalk it up to circumstance due to the sheer absurdity of it. But this? This is the second time in two weeks we've almost been killed by crazy people. It couldn't even be one crazy person. Oh no, it had to be two separate individuals who wanted to kill us, because why in the world would anything make sense around here? At least the last guy just stung us, swung a stick around and babbled some nonsense. This chick could have actually killed us, for real. Oh, there was a lady, all right. What if this all amounts to, oh yeah, Dr. Hayes must have wandered into the forest one night and gotten axed by one of our resident forest dwellers. And we're both like, oh, what a crazy misunderstanding. Call the police. <laughs> I mean, it's obviously not that simple, but that's not the point. Who was that girl anyway? She knew us for sure, but I couldn't place her voice, let alone anything else. I mean, it's not like we knew the last guy, but he definitely didn't know us either. He seemed like a whole separate issue at the time, but now that she's shown up, well... Doesn't make things any more clear, that's for sure. Maybe next time someone will kill one of us, but also tell us everything. At least she gave us some information. Yeah, but doesn't didn't it seem like she was trying to help us? <laughs> Who would pick the top option? It's so, like, psychopathic. Or sociopathic? I forget which one is which. It might be sociopathic that lacks empathy. Was that right? Anyway, yeah, but didn't it seem like she was trying to help us? Yeah, yeah, it did. Is it bad that, at this point, that might be the most confusing part? I mean, we already had someone try to kill us, so that's now... normal. <laughs> The thing that got me was that she said if things happen, like last year, then the town will have no choice but to tell us what's going on. The statement itself seems straightforward enough, but everything around it makes zero sense. Does this mean like someone else gets kidnapped like Dr. Hayes? Didn't she go missing a year ago during the Harvest Festival? Have no choice but to tell us what's going on? Doesn't that make it sound like they have no choice in what's going on at all? I would say everyone's actions so far, especially Rosalind's, says otherwise. And if there was nothing up with Dr. Hayes, we would have been told what happened to her right away. If there was nothing up with the forest, there wouldn't be any weird singing in there. And if there was nothing up with this damn town, they'd at least do what any decent small town would do and mock you behind your back instead of actively trying to force you out. <laughs> Especially the guy you freaking hired to be here! <laughs> Sorry, this whole thing's just, you know, driving me absolutely insane. Let's... let's maybe slow down a bit. According to the newspaper article, Dr. Hayes disappeared around the middle of fall last season. If that's true, and something really does go down the same way, we'll get our answers so we won't have much time to wait. I don't want anyone else to go missing, though. That would be really awful. And if that arrow to the face was any indication, we could be in actual danger if we don't do what she says and cool our horses. So until then, let's keep our ears to the ground, but nothing more. Heck, maybe it'll work to our advantage if we quit asking around for long enough that everyone starts letting their guard down. You know, if what this girl said doesn't happen. Well, anyway, I'm beat. Let's call it a night. Last thing we need is another arrow shot at us for hanging around here too long. Come on, let's get you home. Sky was eavesdropping the whole time! <laughs> Darius walks you back to the farm before heading off to the clinic. It looks like the two of you will have to wait and see whether the strange prediction by the archer comes true or not. But first things first, getting some sleep. Oh boy. Okay, it's good I brought my dog in because it seems like they put me straight to bed. Oh no! It looks like it's still 8pm. Okay, well, I'm gonna save and sleep. Save and sleep. And the bottom one. Okay, cool. Ah, it froze for a little bit. Okay, I thought there was an event because it froze for so long. But anyway, thank you for watching me play more Wild Season. This is Samarillis. I hope you have a great day today and that you remember to be kind to yourself and